Hello and welcome to uh, HTML tutorial 5 continued. If you have not seen the other tutorials, just, I suggest going back and watching them, especially if you have not seen HTML tutorial 5 beginning one. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the HTML document I created, one with Firefox and another in um, Notepad. So as you can see, I've made a few changes, like I changed the background color to black. And um, I just got rid of uh, the whole ASDF high thing. Um, but everything else is exactly the same. So uh, today what I'm going to be going over is another way to change the font color. So last time I showed you how to do it using uh, what's called CSS or cascading style sheets, which is in the head, uh, the head tag with in the style tags um, so today I'm going to be showing you another way to do it which would be go to the right of the P then make a space type style equals uh, open quotation close quotation then inside the quotation marks put color uh, semicolon or regular colon then the color you want I'll make mine green so I'm going to save that and refresh as you can see, this is green, even though up here we defined all paragraph tags as um, red. So, this is a way you can kind of bypass that, I might say. But if you got rid of this altogether, then um, this pie would just be black. So, um, that's just another way to do it. You can also do it in the body. So, I'll go to right, the right of that and do style equals color. Um, I'll make it blue and end that and so now anything I just type in the body like blah, 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 break uh, more text another break more text and done so I'll save that and I'll refresh and as you can see this is all blue instead of the alternative which would be black so let me show you, so I just get rid of this, save that, refresh, and now you can't see it because it's black, but I just highlighted it for you. There. So, um, that's another way to do it. Um, I hope this was helpful for some of you guys. You can also do this in any any tag, like it doesn't just have to be the paragraph tag. So, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can talk to me on my AIM account, which is CP Answer Man. Um, so, oh, one more thing I have to mention. This is exact same thing as doing this. This is still CSS. It's just, um, injecting it into the paragraph tag. So, this is basically the same thing as opening a style tag. And you can call this the opening, um, tag. And you can call that the closing tag or whatever you want. And really all it does is it's like creating one of these... Um, so it'd be like going like this, paragraph, um, open curly brace, color, blue, for, or green in that case. It's the same thing as doing that. So, that, this is equivalent to what is right here. So I just had to, I had to mention that, because I think a lot of people get confused with that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, questions, video quests, CP Answer Man. Um, PM me, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye.